Good morning! Good afternoon! There we are. How y'all doing? Having a good day! Hopefully. You know I say having a good day. It's like most of you probably aren't even awake yet. But, um, yeah. Here we are. Thursday afternoon my time. Morning for probably everyone else. But here we are. So, we're back with, um... Fran Bow. Hopefully, maybe, I'm, I'm actually hoping we're going to finish it today. I'm hopeful. Don't know if we will. We might come up just short of finishing it, but um, hopefully we finish it. It's been good. I've been enjoying this. A lot of point clicking, but man, how tired I, how tired I end up at the end of this game. Uh need to not voice act it so much. I mean, three hours of straight up voice acting it, the characters is, is tough. So we might, we might be skipping that this time because I've kind of been confirmed suffering for it, so. <laughs> right, so here we are. We're back in. So what we've got, of course, Fran has finally left the plant's dimension or world or whatever it is. And um, she's with Itward. I think we'd seen him up several times. And, um, apparently, there's a rabbit. There's a rabbit we need to deal with. Let's go deal with this rabbit. It's probably not an ordinary rabbit. I mean, I'm thinking it's a doll of some kind. The way he kind of described it. Is that forks just on the wall? It really does love black cats. I mean, seems like it. There, see? It's just sitting there. Isn't that a strange behavior? I knew it. It's a freaking doll. From what I see, it's just a toy, sir. It won't move. Would you please try and make contact with it? I don't dare touch it. All right, sir. Take the rabbit and show you there's nothing to be afraid of. There's gonna be something totally to be afraid of about this thing. I should get the little rabbit first. If we're just quite scared of it. See? It's just a fluffy rabbit. Nothing to be afraid of. Oh, you're right, Bran. There's nothing to be afraid of. Oh, fuck off. What? Don't go! Mr. Midnight! This is not funny! Bastard, Itward wasn't our friend. Why did you scare Itward away? Anyway, you're very cute. Oh, I'm gonna take a carrot. Because I can. I'll also take a wrench. Itward made a paper boat. I'll float down here. These bulbs don't know whether to say turn on or off. It's on, it's off, it's on, it's off, it's on, it's off. It's called blinking, boys! No. Venture Brothers reference. Ain't it? Okay, there's numbers all around this room. <coughs> Sorry. One is Ana. Who is Dace? These three. Four is Cat. And five is Shank. Right. What a lovely little tree. Oh, she's nonchalant. She just had her cat stolen. This is a tree. It won't turn on. It won't turn on. What should I do? Oh. Wow, the button made the floor rise like an elevator. Mechanical arm. Are you alive? I think it likes to push buttons.
actually it actually pulls. I don't need to click it. Dope it. Okay. We still have the wrench. The machine needs some energy to wake up. That activated that arm. Oh. Guess I need to be a little bit quicker. Got it. Battery. Egg salad. There you go. Battery placing. Yes, it works. Working. Oh, and then, uh huh? Bye bye. Oh. Well, because we're in the ultra reality. Are you? Oh. Mommy? Daddy? Who did this to you? Why are you here? Please tell me. Mommy? Daddy? Who did this to you? What if I... Whoa. So if I take a pill, it sends me back. Symbol. I guess it's connected to something. Oh! Well... There we go. Alright, we got we got water. That's just the tank for that, I guess. Okay, so we got water. Don't know what that's achieving yet. But we got water. Here we go. Okay, this will tell me something. 
Oh, a mechanical rabbit. It's not very cute. Either Ryo is angry or hungry, or both. Are you hungry? Care for the big, big robot rabbit. Oh, I can see something. Oh, this is telling me. Oh, I see. This is. This is directions. Oh, hang on. Wait a second here. I get what this is. This is the combination, but how the hell am I going to remember this? You know what, so I'm not bouncing back and forth. Wish I had like a another pencil here boy. Does this pen still work? It does for now. Probably stop working as soon as I use it. I'll write this on a pizza box that's in here. <laughs> Alright, so. How many do we have in total then? One, two, three, four, five. Five numbers in total. So then, one, two, three, four, five. All right. So one. Eight that way. Two is behind the rabbit. So that's two, so well, that doesn't make sense, does it? Both go in the same way, that's not right. I'm literally writing this on a pizza box. Uh that way. One and two are off, though. One and two go in the same direction, so they must be added together or something? This one points that way. Well, for you, it's that way. <laughs> Got an achievement to feed the rabbit. Yeah, that one's still going in the same direction. Huh. Why did you scare it word away? Okay. Alright. Two of the arrows go the same way, so I wonder if... Right, so... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five. 
and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Got it. Surprise, Fran, happy birthday. It was a trick. Oh, a birthday party? Whoa, I thought you wanted to kill Mr. Midnight. You lied to me. I lied to you in order to keep your attention in, the other, in another direction. I'm very sorry I had to fool you, my friend. I wanted to surprise you, my dear friend. I'm an e-cake. All right, thank you, kitty. You really surprised me. Thank you, itward, sir. This cake is made of all the ingredients you like. Mr. Midnight told me which ones. And... Something very special for you. All members of the ship. That means all of us, naturally born or handmade thing beings. Here you go. I hope you find it educational. I'm afraid to know what that is. Wow, I love the wrapping. Can I open it now, please? Yes, go ahead, open it. Midnight doll with a hat. Oh, a cat doll. Thank you very much. I love it. It's beautiful. It may give your eyes a new perception, you know? Like the ultra reality. Is that what happens when I take the red pills, sir? Is the ultra reality what I see? Well, it depends. Would you like some explanations? Yes, please. Look, what you've seen is a mixture of different realities. The ultra reality is like an invisible room where everything exists at the same time. For example, at this exact coordinate of time and space, we're having a birthday party. But in the ultra reality, other things are happening all the time. Slower, faster, or just invisible to the human eye. It's because of time, humans can define past, present, and future. Finding things encapsulates reality. It gives humans the chance to understand their environment. They have the different perception of the environment. It's not linked to definitions. Do you understand what I say? I'm not sure, sir. I think, maybe. I feel a bit dizzy. Ah, ha, 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 ha. That may be the ship going up and down. Blow on the, can blow on the candles now, dear. We're about to reach our destination. You mean we're about to get home? Did you hear that, kitty? Yes, we are about to arrive. Really? Wow, how exciting. Right, here I go. Oh no, 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 no. Oh dear, what's happening? Mr. Midnight, are you all right? I'm all right, but I hope the ship won't break. It sounds dangerous. Fran, you have to help. I have to drive the machine again. The automatic driver was destroyed by the Kamalas. There's one left alive. You have to get rid of it. Find it fast. How do I do that, sir? Water. It cleans the dirt. Hurry up now. Remember, it may be hiding from your eyes. Oh my goodness, Kitty, I'm scared. Me too, Fran. We have to find the Kamala. I really hope the water destroys it. Let's go. Okay, so we still have, yeah, we still got water. So we need to see this thing. Those two are here. I talk to it first, but uh, don't run away. Where are you going? Need more water. 
No, I've lost the water. If I examine this, there's a button. Oh, it opened. Is that a keyhole? Alright, well, I'm out of water now. Don't move, I have to pour some water on you. Oh, he's standing right there. He's having none of this. It finally, I think I finally got rid of the Kamala. I'm the best. I should go back to Itward. Ugh. Oh, hey, Mr. Midnight. Itward, sir, we did it. The Kamala is gone. It's gone, yes, but it's too late, dear. I can't take you home. We're going down. Please don't tell me this. It's not fair. It's not fair. I'll always take care of you, my dear. Aww. Sir Itward is such a kind fellow. And the ship was going down until it crashed. Everything was destroyed. The end. <laughs> but that is a very sad ending, Edward. Tell me another story, please. Alright, this is the story of Fran, Bo, and me. When she promised to never forget about me or the magic of everything. Me, yeah, I promise, Edward. I'll never forget you. Good. Now it's time to sleep. Expect me in your dreams, my friend. Chapter 4, Part 2, Doctor's Prescription. Back off, Bambi. Ah! Itward? Wow, oh, Kitty, we are alive. We survived the crash. Oh, dear, yes, we are alive. <laughs> but Itward is gone. But he brought us home. We are outside the town, Fran. I can smell it. Are you sure, Kitty? Are we already home? Ah! I thought you would be happier about it. What is it? Just that I wonder where Itward is. I wish I could say goodbye. Maybe you can take the medicine to see him again. Yes, Kitty. But I took all the pills already, you see? The bottle is empty. <gasps> anyway, let's go home. Maybe Itward will come to come to me someday. The red bicycle. <gasps> is this Itward's bicycle or mine? Anyway, it's broken and I can't ride. See how the pills are gone now. I guess we're done with the pills. No more pills. She's going clean. She's going straight edge. Oh my goodness, this is our street, Kitty. Hayes Street. Yes, it is. says Hayes Street, then my house is in that direction. Oh. 
here we are. This looks more gray than I remembered. Well, I hope Aunt Grace will be happy to see me. She's gonna be dead or something, isn't it? Oh, I can't see a thing. Sorry, little insects. Don't run away. Oh. Oh, am I looking for the key? Ah, here we go. Okay, what is this? A note? It says, I took the key. Signed, Fran. Fran, that's me. I haven't taken the key, and I didn't write that note. This is all so confusing. What should I do now? Grace, hello! Maybe she's not at home, dear. Do you have the key to go inside? No, I don't have it, kitty. But I know there's a hidden key somewhere. I just need to remember where. Uh, let's find it. Uh, come here, kitty. You must climb and go through the window. I couldn't find the key. It seems they already took it. You already took the key, but you don't have it. Sounds very strange. Yes, it's very strange. But I only found a note and I don't rem that I don't remember writing. But now, in order to get inside, Kitty, you must climb and open the door for me. Ah! All right. Wish me luck. You can do it, Kitty. Be careful. Midnight, do you hear me, kitty? Open the door. Uh -oh. oh, shit, it's the doctor. Fran? I can't believe this, you're alive. Where were you? Get away from me. I won't go back to the asylum. I've been looking for you for a long time now. How did you escape? That's none of your business. Leave now, please. Why are you outside the house? Well, I don't have the key, but Mr. Midnight is inside now. He climbed and went through the window of the second floor, sir. Mr. Midnight? Isn't that your missing cat? Yes, but we found each other in the end, sir. May I ask why you're here? I came to meet Miss Grace. I have something very important to tell her. I think she's not home, sir. Well, it may be better this way. You'll have to come with me then. No, I won't leave my kitty again. Let's wait until he opens the door. Fran, I don't believe your cat is inside the house. That's impossible. I'm telling you the truth. He's inside. He will open the door in a minute. Stop it, Fran. Face reality. Your cat is dead. You must come with me now. <gasps> Fuck off. Oh, son of a bitch. And he opens the door. We're there. Is this just a scene or am I supposed to click something? Oh, I'm sorry, Fran. I don't want to hurt you or scare you. I'm just worried about Mr. Midnight, sir. You made me leave him. Is he really alive? Of course he is, sir. Why would I lie about that? This feels so wrong. You know, Fran, I was fired from the asylum because I knew too much. I found things that I do not understand yet. Oh god, is he actually the guy that wrote the book? I really thought you were dead. Look at these documents. On family murdered on Hayes' bodies were perfectly sliced. Martin and Lisha Bode Dagenhart were found early this week brutally murdered in their residence on Hayes Street. The investigating police officer, Marco Homo, said, It seems the bodies were perfectly sliced, which would cause a quick, instantaneous death. Also, there's no signs of a struggle in the house, so the victims must have been caught completely by surprise or unable to fight back. The, pol 
police interrogated Grace Degenhardt, Lucia, uh, Lucia's twin sister, the police didn't find any useful information. The youngest in the family, Fran Bo, was found in the woods one day after her parents' murder. She froze to death. She froze to death. Dear Gladys, let the newspaper know that Fran know about Fran Bo. She was found in the woods, frozen to death. She ran away from home after finding her parents' murder. Beloved Fran Beau. 1934 to 1944. Rambo is now free from all pain. We hope to reunite with your family in heaven. Shit! I'm not dead and I'm not free from all pain. She's moving between the realities. Mommy and Daddy, I'm sorry for what happened to you. I'll find the monster. I know who, I know he did this to you. Why would they say that about me? The world is full of lies. Fake news. Mommy, I recognize your hand. I wish I could feel your warm hands caressing my face. The symbol. I remember it. It was written with blood. Who told her to lie about me? I'm not dead. Besides, pain is nice. It tells me something is wrong. At least they picked a nice picture of me. I'm smiling. Gladys Hannah, isn't that the nurse? Why did she get this letter? But I'm not dead, sir. This is all lies. I see that. Also found out that your medicine was switched. You were given a new vagrant a variant of duotine. I looked at in the, uh, what I looked at in the laboratory, the levels of ectoplomatin were too high. That can't be good. Ectoplomatin creates a door between the subconscious and conscious. The problem is, if the ectoplomatin is too high, the doors will be too wide. And that can create a confusion in your brain confusion in my brain? I'm a bit confused, yes. But that's because of all the new things I can see and feel. What do you mean, Fran? I can see the ultra-reality, sir. And also travel to other worlds. Ultra-reality must be a consequence of the duotine, nothing more. That is not true. If I had more medicine, I could show you. You don't need that medicine anymore. Besides, it's all in your head, Fran. All in my head, you say. Then I may be able to control it. I mean, you're imagining things, that's all. I tried to tell my mother the truth, but father would harm her as well. I tried to tell my mother the truth, but father would harm her as well. I don't want my father playing with his knife again. My arms hurt. <laughs> Oh, did your father harm you with his knife, his knife, doctor? What? Who told you that? You did. Or didn't you, sir? I haven't said anything about it. Oh my goodness, then it's true. Oh, please, let's focus. But you're not listening to me, sir. We need to find out the truth. I wonder who is behind all this. The nurses? Oswald? Who knows? I don't know, sir. It's a big black monster. Or I know, I do know, sir. It's a big black monster, Remor. He took my parents and now he hunts me. He wants me dead. Oh, I wish I'd stayed in a Thursda with Paltronus and the great Pal Palantros and the great wizard. What are you talking about? Please, Fran, I'm serious. I never said goodbye to it were to Palantros. My kitty is all, all alone. Palantros, it word? Please, Fran. Palantros is the doctor of Thursta. He's a flying creature, very fluffy, sir. And Itward is my faithful friend. He brought me home with his machine. Seems you've been living inside a fairy tale. It wasn't uh, it wasn't good all the time, sir. The twins were gone because of me. Are gone because of me. 
saw myself killing Mr. Midnight, and I saw Mother and Father, too. The twins? What twins? The girls that were attached to each other. Attached, you say? That reminds me of the Claire and Mia case. She might really be seeing stuff. Two girls in the asylum that claim to be a that claim to see a creature named Edward or something. Edward, I think you're a misunderstanding, sir. It's Itward. But what happened to these girls? Dr. Oswald was experimenting on them. He sewed them together. Mostly to see the reactions of the DNA, but nothing happened. A few months later, they died, and their bodies were thrown into a well. That is awful, sir. You can take me back to the asylum. Don't worry, I won't. I brought you with me so you can help me. Maybe we can find something that will lead us to those responsible for all this disgrace. Thank you, Doctor. Maybe Palantras was right about you. You're not a bad doctor, you're just an old man following the rules. Following the rules? Well, not tonight. It's a doctor, on the edge! A loose cannon with a heart of gold. Here we are. This is the cemetery, sir. What are we doing here? You'll see. Come on, follow me. Ah! Wow, hello, stone woman. Are you sleepy? You're gonna chase me if I look away, are you? So, things I still have. The journal, the knife, the matches. I still have this <coughs> weird box that was given to me. Yeah, the Palantros gave me. We've got the Mr. Midnight doll that's got a keyhole in it. We've still got the crayon and family photo. And hello, Crow Warrior. How you doing? Huh? Crowbar. I hope the doctor doesn't mind if I take it. Your box. I wonder if it has little secrets inside. Maybe good to press all the buttons. Says you. So yeah, this is all the information. Okay, well, we got the crowbar. Excellent! Uh, I guess that's all for here. Let's go in. This is your parents' resting place, and also yours. Why did you bring me here, sir? I'm sorry, Fran, but things are how they are. Your parents were killed. Knowing who killed them can help us make things right. What do you mean by right, sir? I mean that if we can find the guilty ones, we'll have justice. Use the law to punish the behaviors and prevent others from being harmed. I understand, Fur. <laughs> understand, Fur. Understand, sir. For what? And, and for what did you need my help? To find clues and evidence. I need to open the coffins. Are you sh fucking serious? All right, sir, I'll help. Maybe the de de the deadly worm. Maybe the deadly worms came already. Who? Mm, anyway, you have to find shovels to dig. I'll go left, and you can go right. I'll see you in a few minutes. Right here. All right. Yes, Dr. Dearn. See you soon. I wonder what this lady is hidden between her hands. Is it a little bug? Haven't you rested enough already? Did the deadly worms take you back to the soil? Are you coming up from under the ground like a zombie? Martin Bow. Bo Degenhart, Fran Bo Degenhart. Supposedly, all of us are buried here. Oh, lovely little bear, you must take care of my parents. Fran Bo, huh? I wonder who came up with all. Oh, came up with a lie like this. Oh, I mean, this is very hard knowing that you're not around anymore. Hello, father. I know that you didn't choose to leave me. Candle, keep my parents warm. <laughs> this is the worst setting for a murder. 
or cliche. This is getting pretty weird. Well, the whole thing's been weird. It's stuck. It must be. A, there must be a shovel in the storage room. Just my luck. Just my luck. I have a crowbar. Oh. Shh. You have to keep it down, Fabio. Oh, but I'm not Fabio. I'm Fran. Hello, little pine cone. What? Oh my goodness, a giant! Oh, please, don't be scared. I won't harm you. I thought no giants could see us. I think I can see you because I have very big eyes, you see? I see. I'm Sebastian, by the way, the tribe's collector. Tribe's collector? That sounds exciting. Right now, we are trying to find some shiny leather. We need it for the mating ritual. Okay. Oh, that's quite interesting. Shiny leather. Hmm. Yes, last year we used old human skin, but the deadly worms want it back. Wanted it back. So we are looking for something more synthetic. Well, I hope you can find the leather. Uh, Sebastian, would you do me a favor? It depends on the favor, giant miss. I was thinking that you could open the door for me from the inside. I could do that, but we can help each other instead. Bring me a piece of leather and I'll open the door, right? Alright, giant miss? Where will I even find that? <laughs> Alright, I'll see what I can do. Do I have anything that's giant leather? It's on myself. I mean, there was that thing about taking the skin off the bottom of your feet and applying it to a shoe. Oh, this just opens the book. So yeah, we don't really have anything else that is... Leather. Do I still have the crowbar? Yeah, I still have the crowbar. No name, no flowers. Maybe nobody is down there. That's a little sad. Where's the doctor gone? Car seats are quite comfortable. I'm glad it's not real leather, it's more friendly. Whoops, what a big hole I made. Oh well, I have the leather now. He also left his headlights on. That battery's gonna drain. Thank you, giant miss. Our tribe is pine zealous. The, the pine zealous will be happy. Now we'll open the door. Just a second. Oh. All right. Oh, sure you're all right, Sebastian. Sebastian. I'm I'm all right, miss. Yes. Good. Well, thank you. You open the door. You're welcome, giant miss. Uh. Have you? Oh, there he is. Oh, I have to go, miss. Good night. Hey, Fabio, wait for me. I have the leather. They gonna go, mate. Uh, there's nothing in here I can use. There's nothing wonderful at all. I need to find something to dig with. So there was nothing there. Oh, he found a shovel. Here you are, Fran. Look, I found us a pair of shovels. Let's dig. Oh, everything's wrong with this. Apparently buried very shallow. Really shallow graves! Well, now we have to now we'll have to come up with something to open the coffins. They're stuck. I had a crowbar in my car just in case, but I couldn't find it. Oh, I took the crowbar, sir. I needed to open a door. Do you want it back? No need, Fran. You could do the honors of opening the coffins. 
You know, this girl was supposed, well, aside from being supposed dead, she might actually have been crazy. You think opening up the coffins of her parents? <coughs> Sorry. Think opening up the coffins of her parents? You're gonna traumatize this poor child more? Considering supposedly one of them's her? Or the coffins can't be opened, the lids are so. Uh, Mr. Midnight? Woo, I'm not in the coffin, great! But that can't be my kitty, because Mr. Midnight is home. Poor kitty, I wonder if you had a name. Well, I'll name you Albert. Oh, shit. Uh, she's in one piece. Oh, mother, you're so skinny. A bit too much, I s would say. But I guess you would take that as a compliment, wouldn't you? Is the bed comfortable? Well, sweet dreams, mommy. But she's... I mean, I guess, you know, for the sake of bearing, they... But she looks like she's in totally one piece. I mean, I guess, yeah, for the sake of a coffin or whatever, they could have put her together, I, I suppose, but... If she looks horrified, then she's not crazy. If she's not... <laughs> Oh my goodness, father! The deadly worms have the deadly worms took your eyes. I wish you could talk and tell me who took you away from me. Is it the big bad monster, daddy? Did you see anything that could bring us closer to the killer? No, sir. I just feel you're really bad doing this, seeing my parents like this. Also, that dead cat is not my cat. They're lying. Bran, I told you, your cat was missing, and maybe this one is actually your cat. <gasps> Can't be, sir. I did find my kitty. You have to believe me. Take me home and I'll show you, please. Alright, Fran, I'll take you back home. I'll take care of this later. I'll take care of this later! I still need to find some clues. Thank you, sir. Let's go. You take care of it later, like somebody's not gonna spot three open graves. <laughs> Light them on fire. I suppose I can rebury them myself. Nope. Whoa! Uh huh. Vanished into the hands of darkness. You have no manners. I'm not afraid of you anymore. I'm taken away from you, the light. The one you love. The one you respect. And the one you desire to love you. Well, shit. Broken, you broken little girl. <clears throat> the House of Madness invites you inside. If you want to find those you love, in darkness you must wake up. Wake up now, Fran. Wake up. <laughs> 